Hello and Assalamualaikum everyone. In this video, we will be discussing workshop 1 where we will provide an explanation on the empathy map and user persona for users of a wellness application. Let's introduce our group members. Our empathy map is divided into five quadrants, each representing feelings, tasks, influences, overall goals, and pain points. The first quadrant focuses on the user's feelings, concerns, or ambitions, which are the most important aspect of users. Let's say user frustration. User has experienced frustration when they are unable to locate the necessary information because the apps, the they utilize have limited functionalities additionally urgent or health related inquiries were unable to be addressed through the chat box what they preferred was the best information is concise yet comprehensive next task it is about what do they need want or decision to do in our situation users search for an app that specifically tracks diseases instead of just monitoring overall wellness factors like exercise sleep and mood they want the app to provide information about the side effects of illnesses and offer guidance on how to reduce the impact of the disease while also providing general knowledge on the subject. Moreover, influence help apps with telehealth and remote monitoring capabilities allow individuals to receive healthcare services from their own residences which is especially beneficial for those who have restricted mobility or life in distance location besides overall goal the aim is to improve the health outcomes of people with chronic conditions by offering tools for monitoring symptoms medication adherence and lifestyle factors these include secure messaging appointment scheduling and virtual consultations all of which promote self-management lastly pinpoint that includes fear frustration and obstacles inaccurate or unreliable health data can erode user trust issues such as inaccurate sensor readings data syncing errors or inconsistent tracking can lead to misinformation complicated interfaces confusing navigation or poorly designed user experiences can also frustrate user and prevent them from effectively using the application next user persona will consist of four target users consists of students to senior citizens user persona refer to a semi-fictional character that represents our ideal customer and every design process begins with user research first and foremost let us present mr ahmad his age is 58 he is married and he works as a human resources manager before retiring. Following that, he developed diabetes and high blood pressure while still new to health applications. He became concerned about his health when he was in his late 50s. His goals and needs are to remain productive, manage stress and regularly assess critical health markets. After that, his issues with maintaining consistent exercise habits and understanding how to analyze health data. Essentially, he spent the entire day watching television and keeping up with current events. Mr. Ahmad used software 40% of the time social media 65 percent of the time and 80 percent of mobile apps then it is suggest that a user-friendly application be developed offers all the persons with accessible information with chronic conditions as well as suggestion on relevant activity to take that's what his recommendation 
Let's go to the next one, Madam Zaitun, who is roughly 70 years old, widowed, and has worked as a school teacher until retiring. Her background includes diabetes and osteoarthritis concerns. She then concentrated on keeping her health and being connected to her familial community. She also required more technological assistance. Her goals and needs are to prioritize joint health as well as properly controlling diabetes and cholesterol levels while the problems are due to the physical limits caused by arthritis. Occasional loneliness and adjusting to new technology are all issues. Her daily activities include spending time with her grandchildren and gardening at home. Her software utilization is barely 10%, social media is 30% and mobile apps are 55%. What she recommends was she hoped that she can engage in activities that promote healthcare options and receive guidance on improving joint health. Next, Emily, who is 23 years old and still single. She is a student at matriculation in the field of accounting. Her background is she has had eczema from childhood and has experienced various challenges related to managing her skin condition. Her major focus is finding effective solutions to alleviate symptoms and maintain healthy skin. Next, her goals and needs are to effectively handle and regulate eczema symptoms, keep the skin free of any issues and enhance overall health and happiness. Then problems is dealing with stress, finding appropriate skincare products and adjusting to lifestyle changes caused by eczema. While her everyday activities are in engaging natural skincare treatments and completing household chores and assignments. Technology usage, first of all for software is 40% while for both social media and mobile apps is 90%. Next, let's see her recommendations which she preferred the app that provides reliable information about eczema including its triggers and effective treatments. It also allows users to connect with others who have similar experiences through online forums and support groups. Jessica is the final person. In addition, she is 23 years old and single. She is an academic student at college. She was diagnosed with a chronic autoimmune illness in her late teens and has had to deal with the consequences, goal and needs. Effectively, handle symptoms, find a balance between work and health, and maintain a positive mindset. Problems, feeling tired, experiencing occasional joint discomfort and requiring frequent medical appointments and therapies. Everyday activities, finding joy in reading, painting and experimenting with new nutrition recipe. Technology usage. First of all, for software is 55%, social media is 83% and mobile app is 90%. Recommendations, connect with people who have similar interests, share advice on staying healthy and stay motivated with the help of a supportive group. Discover tools and options that can improve productivity and time management. So that's all from us. Thank you.